whether you're doing AI agency, marketing agency, go high level SaaS, whatever the heck you're doing, what if I showed you one simple automation that takes a minute or two to set up that could double your business? Too good to be true, right? Let me prove it to you. So let's say clients pay you $500 a month and they stay for six months on average. Well, that's $3,000 customer lifetime value. And if we can just double that to 12 months where they stay twice as long, now we've got a $6,000 customer lifetime value. And now let's say on average, you add three clients per month, right? Both examples the same, you provide the same service for the same price. Now they're just staying longer, but in both examples, you're only able to add three new clients a month. Well, your business caps out at $18,000 in MRR if you're only keeping people for six months. But if you double that to 12 months, now you've doubled your business, you doubled your MRR, so your, business, your MRR caps out around $36,000. So for some of you, that's obvious, right? Customers aren't happy, they don't stay as long, your business is smaller. But what if I told you you could do the same exact work and deliver the same exact results for all these clients, but just change the way they perceive the way you work and change the way they perceive your results to make them stay twice as long. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to create what's called the buzzing pocket effect. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Clay Lawrence, owner of reviewers.com here. You can see we have 247 reviews. We've helped over a thousand local business owners get more reviews and we make about $40,000 per month between the two different Stripe accounts. So this is just month to date so far. So it's not even a full month, but the new Stripe account, $27,000 this month to date. And the old Stripe account is $13,000 this month to date. So over $40,000 just helping local business owners get Google reviews. I've won a couple of awards from high level and I don't say any of this to gloat, just saying to show some proof that I actually know what I'm talking about. So high level, the number one marketing automation software in the world has studied this in depth to figure out what makes people stick, what pe makes people stay around and never cancel. And like I said, they call it the buzzing pocket effect where your clients are just constantly being buzzed with the value that you're providing them. So after this video, you'll have three super simple ways to implement this into your business today and start making more money. All right. The first way you're able to do this is you can embed your own high level forms onto your customer's website and then deliver those leads to them from you. So if you do anything that sends traffic to their website, whether it's run ads, Google ads, SEO, get them reviews, whatever it is, you can start taking credit for the people that are filling out the forms on their site to try and work with them. All right, so you can see we're on a site here, they have a form. This form is just going directly through WordPress or whatever they're doing, but we can actually copy this exact form through high level and then deliver it to them and say, hey, my business name just got you a new lead. Once again, if you're helping them send traffic to their site, you should be taking credit for these leads. If you're interested in getting started, feel free to click the link down below in the description. I have an extended 30 day trial link instead of the 14 day link. If you're looking to start your own marketing agency, looking to start your white label SaaS, whatever you're looking to do, or you just want to install high level into your own local business, uh, feel free to start with my link. You'll get access to my community for free, two coaching calls a week, and a bunch of other snapshots and goodies that you can just copy and paste into your account. So all you do to create this form in high level is go to sites, then go to forms, and then click on add form. We'll start from scratch here. You can see here's the contact us form that we're working with. We just want to replicate this first name, last name. Honestly, it looks pretty, it doesn't look great. So we can even make this a little bit better looking, but um, they have a bunch of themes and stuff that you can use. You can see if you want to make it look a certain way. Um, you know, I'm not too partial on any of these, I'd say, but anyways, you can see, I know that one of the fields they had was what services do you want? And so we could either do kind of a open multi-line box like they have, where it's like services needed. Now when we deliver this lead to our client, we can even include the services needed in the text or in the email we, we deliver them to. And so now we just want to go here. We can see we added services needed. We can just add this to the form. And if you know their services, if you wanted the form to convert higher, you just have this as a select box. If this is just multiple choice, we can just select what services you needed. That'll normally get a higher conversion rate than making people type. Anyway, so you can play around with the colors. You can make it match their brand colors. So if we go here, you can see they have like red and blue colors. So we can just go boom, blue. There we go. They also have address. So you can see, I think address is just under here under a quick ad. So we can just add the option for them to add their address. Boom. So they can search it on Google or they can uh, just type it in there. Um, and now that we have this form created, we want to save it. And then you want to click on integrate. And what it's going to do is you can have a couple different options here. Let's say this was a pop-up form, then you could make it pop up on a page, right? You could say you could click on pop up here and you can make it pop up after eight seconds or something. For our case, this is an inline form, meaning that it is just inline uh, on the site, always visible. We can see it's just inline here. 
And so all we do to share that is just click on inline. Let's click on copy embed code. Have always show, always activated, never deactivated there. And that embed code is what we just install on someone else's site. So now that we have the embed code, it's really easy to add this form if you're just on a high level website. You just click on plus, you just click on add the form option. And then from there, you just select the form you want to add. This was like the testing form. Um, I'm not going to add this here because we already have one here. But if you wanted to add it to a WordPress or a Wix or something like that, it's going to be the same process on another website builder. You're just going to add a custom embed or a custom code block. And then you click on here, open code editor. You just paste in that embed code that you got from the form builder. From there, once you save it here, it will add the site, add that to the site automatically. So if we go to the site, we scroll down, you can see now this form has been added to the site. Same thing for any other website builder. So now that we've got these forms added to their site, every time somebody submits this form, we want to text them and email the customer and tell them it's from us. And so all we have to do to do that is we just go back, we're gonna go to automations. So we're gonna go to automations here. We're just gonna create a simple notification automation. So we're gonna create a workflow, we'll create from scratch. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, new form submitted is going to be the trigger so form submitted then choose the form that you just created so form is you know testing attribution or this whatever whatever form it is and then from there if they're added to the high level sub account as a user so you basically have added their email they can log in they can play around with it then you can do what's called an internal notification and from there you can just go and let's do sms and then you can choose either a particular user or if they're not added, you can just go ahead and add a custom phone number. So you could add in somebody's custom phone number here or you could just leave it as all users and everybody be notified. So you just wanna say, hey, new website lead from you know your business name. So awesome agency. Here are the details, call them ASAP. And so we have name, and then we'll add the custom value full name because this is the custom, these are the values from the website form. These aren't your information. This is the value from the website form. We'll do the address, we'll do phone number, we'll do email, boom. We'll do services needed. So to find services needed, you just go to contact, you go to custom fields because we made it a custom field and then click on services needed, right? And so let's save the action here. And then you can do the same thing for an email. So let's just duplicate this step. Let's change this to an email. So we just, we just add the same thing to an internal email notification um, to all the users as long as they're added or a custom email if you want to add their email in their custom. We can make the subject of the email new lead from you know your awesome agency name or whatever it is. And then from there, we can just save that. So now every time somebody's submitting a form on their website, they're going to get a notification from you, text and email saying, hey, we just got you a new lead. And you might be listening to this, but this just seems kind of silly. It seems kind of stupid. But you'd be surprised how if you're just texting them every day, say, hey, we got you a new lead. We got you a new lead. We got you a new lead. Every single time you, they get that message, it reinforces the fact that what you're doing is working. When you're not communicating with your clients, they think that you're just sitting back and taking your money. I know this for a fact because there was a point where we turned off email notifications for Review Harvest where we weren't emailing our clients when we got them a new review. Our churn went up. We had more support messages saying, hey, what's going on? Is it everything still working? And so keeping your clients in the know and reminding them of the value you're providing is never a bad thing. The second thing you can do is get them to download the Lead Connector app on their phone. This basically gives them access to their sub account, messaging their customers, seeing their reviews, getting all those notifications directly through an app. So you don't have to worry about doing SMS and email notifications. It can come directly to the phone. There's actually no setup here. It's just telling your customers to download their app and probably adding it to your onboarding call process and getting them to log in. And if you don't know what the Lead Connector app is, it's basically just a high levels app that you can have on your phone and it gives you access to your sub account on your phone. This comes with a couple of pros and cons. The pros are maybe they start using the Lead Connector app every day to respond to leads, call people, text people, look at their reviews, respond respond to their reviews and all of a sudden this service becomes incredibly sticky because if they're using the lead connector app to run their business they're not going anywhere they're going to keep paying you for a very long time the cons of this are basically increased surface area for support requests right if for some reason the lead connector app's down 
or they're struggling to respond to somebody, or they don't know how to delete somebody, or they don't know how to add somebody to do not contact, or they don't know how to build somebody. Now, all of a sudden, they're asking you hundreds and hundreds of questions that might be beyond your original scope of work. And so just being intentional about doing this or not doing this, because if you're going to do this, it can be great. It can increase the stick of all your clients. They'll stay a lot longer. You just need to be intentional about making sure you're offering the support so that you don't get bogged down with a million support requests every day. And number three, and, and probably one of the most effective and easiest things you can do is add a Google business profile tracking number to their Google business profile. So what does this mean? If you're in somebody's sub account, and you go to settings and then you scroll down to integrations, you can see here you're able to connect your Google business profile. And if you click on manage pages here, if it's already connected, you can uh, see a list of all the Google business profiles you have access to and you can enable call tracking. And so there's this toggle here where you can turn on call tracking. And so once you turn on call tracking, all you do is click on update. And what that does is on the Google business profile, right here, the Google business profile, when somebody calls this number now, it is going to call the phone number that is in that high level sub account and then forward it to whatever phone number you want it to, right? So let's say that their phone number is this right now. We want to forward the calls um, that they're getting to this number. So it's also going the same way, but we want to take credit for this call first, right? And so once again, if we are increasing the traffic to their Google business profile, we're running ads for them, doing anything to increase their attention. We want to make sure that we're actually taking credit for these leads because so many times marketing agencies do an amazing job and get them what they promise. They just suck at reporting it. And it creates this gap where business owners think they're being scammed. And so it's just another way for us to be overly communicative, take credit for the work that we're doing and have your customers stick around longer. And so once you turn on call tracking, very, very important, you go to phone system, you go to whatever your main number is, you click on the three dots here, you edit the configuration, and then you forward the calls to the phone number the calls should be forwarded to, right? And then we're going to turn this whisper message on that says new call from your new lead, new call, whatever you want to call it, from awesome marketing agency name, or whatever the name of your business is. Press any key to connect. So now when they're getting a new lead from Google, it's going to say, hey, new call from your business name. And you're getting credit for it. They press any key to connect. Great. And then they talk to an amazing lead and they're associating that with the hard work that you're doing. So it's very important that we're doing that. And then you can kind of change. You want to change these limits to see how long it waits to incoming calls and outcoming calls. How long does it ring on the way in? How long does it ring on the way out? And then you just want to save this. And so now this phone number is be, going to be the one that is called and listed on the Google business profile. And then it's going to forward to the phone number that you want to forward it to. You get to take credit for the leads that are coming from their website, the leads that are coming from their Google business profile, their, their reviews, all that sort of stuff. You're getting to take credit for it and creating that buzzing pocket effect where they're like, wow, this business is killing it day in and day out. And none of this is possible without high level. So feel free to start that extended 30 day trial with my link down below in the description. You'll get access to two coaching calls a week with me, all my snapshots so you can copy and paste my business into yours um, and you know, a bunch of help from 800 plus people that are doing the same things that you're doing. Do you want to see how I make $40,000 per month just helping local business owners with one simple automation? Check this video out.